Assalamu alaikum students, I am Usman from Conceptual Chemistry Zone and today we will study the exercise of chapter number 3. But before starting that exercise, I will request you to please subscribe my channel if you are visiting my channel for the first time or watching my video for the first time. Thank you so much. Now let's start the today's topic. Let's try to solve the fill in the blanks of the exercise. And the first fill in the blanks is dash acid has the chemical formula HBO2 though so that acid is metabolic acid and the next fill in the blank is aluminium naturally occurs as dash mineral found in the rocks or outer portion of the earth so the name of that mineral is aluminosilicate the third fill in the blank is aluminium gives dash gas with the concentrated H2SO4 so aluminium gives hydrogen gas when it reacts with concentrated H2SO4. I have told you this in my video of when we talk about the reaction of aluminium. And the next thing in the blank is boron forms dash bonds in its compounds. As we know the boron usually forms three bonds in its compounds because there are three outermost electrons in the boron. And the oxidation state of boron is usually plus 3. So we can say that the boron usually forms 3 bonds in its compounds. Next in the blank is the chemical formula of white lead is. And the chemical formula of white lead is 2 PbCO3 dot 2 PbOH whole twice. Six fill in the blank is. Dash is the only element with less than 3 electrons in the outermost shell that is not a metal. So that element is boron. The number 7 fill in the blank is in the group 3A of the periodic table. Dash is a semi-metal. As we know in the group 3A the boron behaves as a semi-metal. The number 7 is boron that occurs as a natural deposit is called tinkle. The number 8 cryolite is an important mineral of aluminium and its formula is its formula is Na3AlF6. The number 10 application oh, fill in the blank is A dash is a substance that has different resistant on the passage of electric current under different concentrations so that substance is a semiconductor now let's try to solve the multiple choice questions of the exercise in chapter number three and the first mcq is which metal is used in the thermite process because of its activity the name of that metal is aluminium and the option number c is correct in the second multiple choice aluminium oxide is as we know, the aluminum oxide is amphoteric in nature, so the option number C is correct. And the third MCQ is chemical composition of coalimonite is. The option number A is correct. The chemical the chemical formula of coalimonite is Ca2B4O11.5H2O. So the option number A is the right option. Now the next one is which element form an ion with charge plus three? So we can see we know that the aluminium forms an ion which having the charge plus 3. Option number B is the correct option. And the fifth MCQ is which ele electronic configuration correspond to an element of group 3A of periodic table? The option number A is the correct option which is 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2 and 3P1. As we know, the group 3A elements having one electron in their outermost p orbital. So option number A is the correct option. Now the number 6 is which element among the following dash belongs to group 4A of the periodic table. That element is lead because lead belongs to the group 4A. And the number 7 is boric acid cannot be used boric acid cannot be used in soda water bottles 
so the option C is the correct option now the next one is which of the following element is not present abundantly in earth crust the option number C is the correct option sodium is not present abundantly on the earth crust as compared to the other three options the ninth multiple choice is tinkle is a mineral of we know that the tinkle is the mineral of boron so the option number B is the correct option and the last MCQ is the G4 of aluminium is as we know the G4 or of aluminium is bauxite having the formula Al2O3.2H2O so the option number B is the correct option for the MCQ number 10 now here are some short questions in the exercise of chapter number 3 if you watched my video carefully you can easily answer these short questions but you if you have any queries about the answers of these short questions you can simply comment below in this video and I will try to give the answers of all your comments thank you so much for watching if you really like these type of videos don't forget to subscribe my channel